throws when I look at those free throws. <laughs> So 1 and 32 remaining, time out muna tayo. 8 points ang labang ng Talking Decks. really hurts when you're coming off a timeout the coach maps a play to try and overcome an eight-point deficit and you throw the ball away and you throw you throw the ball in between the legs of your teammate or you... here's Alapag Alapag for three and Ali Peak grabs that rebound and it looks like Talking Six will draw first blood they will secure the first win of this series this game was was very intense. I mean, we saw technical fouls given back in the first half with, with, with that altercation between Paul Artadi and Jason Castro. A lot of pushing and shoving uh, under the basket, and a lot of running and gunning by both teams. You know, in that in the first quarter, it seemed that uh, people were that both teams were getting ready. Then they put it in hyperdrive in that second quarter, and Talking Tax kept it in hyperdrive all the way to the third and the fourth. San Miguel just couldn't keep it going and couldn't keep in step with talking text. Speaking of hyper drivers and hyper old school scoop shot by Kelly Williams for our Phoenix drive of the game. Nagsimula ang game, first quarter, very tight. Lamaga San Miguel at the end of the first quarter, 2019. Natapos ang second quarter, ang first half, with San Miguel leading by just two points, 46 44. Although San Miguel led by as many as nine, at dun nga nagka. Uh, between Artadi and Castro. In the third quarter, San Miguel still kept that slim one-point lead, 68-67. But by this time, Tokitex had that strong finishing kick to end the third with that slam dunk by, by Ali Peak. And that momentum carried over to the fourth. Naduna, lumamang. By as many as nine points on Tokitex. So 51.9 seconds uh, remaining. Uh, timeout po tayo dito. With Talking Tech still ahead. 88-80. Back in a moment. Still with us for our remaining moments dito sa ating coverage of Game 1 of the PBA Finals. Labang po ang Talking Tech's 88-80. And Talking Text using a great second half finishing kick uh, that will eventually help them win this game, Jason. And, and, and I said it earlier, it, it came almost unnoticed how Talking Text extended their defense. And once they extended their defense, and uh, especially with Jay Washington out, it really slowed down the offense of uh, San Miguel. You can never quantify itong uh, pagkawala ni Jay Washington dahil uh, he brings so much to the table for, for his team. Uh, the ability to shoot from the outside, to rebound, to bring down the basketball. And nung nawala siya, napag-usapan nga natin during the break, halos nawala sa wisho itong, uh, itong San Miguel. I mean, suddenly their, 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 game, their, their, game, their game plan went haywire nung, luma, nung lumabas si, uh, si Jay Washington. Back after these. Thirty-four point nine seconds remaining. Well, Doc, it takes. They're up by six, and San Miguel will not go quietly into the Elongo night. Not here in Victoria City. And if you think that uh, you know, we look at the score. San Miguel only eighty-two points on the board. We've talked about how potent that offense is. Doc, in fact, we're doing a number on San Miguel by limiting them to just eighty-two. Not at all surprising that in the battle of two loaded teams, bench support becoming also vital to game number one. And let's see what Talking Tex does here. Castro in motion. Ranidel will start the play if he can. If 
By the way, penalty now on San Miguel Beerman. Let's see what Talk It Text does. And the ensuing uh, inbound play. Whoa. Ali Vick did not appreciate how <laughs> Mick Penisi fouled him. And, and you know, when Ali Peek starts doing that, you, know, you hide the women and children first. <laughs> I, I, I think I will hide first. <laughs> Before then. No, hide me first. <laughs> women and children. <laughs> <laughs> First free throw, not a problem para kay Ali P. Kelly Williams, uh, tactical substitutions here in each other is uh, Williams Aban in the game to play defense with 33 seconds remaining. Second free throw coming up para kay Ali P. Well, on a night of rough free throw shooting, Ali P. very steady with those two free throws. And we'll enter a 30-second timeout right now with 33 seconds remaining at Lamangan Talking Text, 90-82. No, it's a big lead, but you know when you're in the finals, you never you never give up, and uh, that's what San Miguel is doing. They're they're hoping to hit some threes, maybe cause a turnover here or there, and uh, all of a sudden, what uh, may seem like an impossible task, uh, you know, fair naman siya sa being impossible. Eh. Yeah. yeah, and then. Correct. Impossible, talaga. <laughs> correct, correct. <laughs> no, that make that an improbable task because there's still a probability, no matter what. Thirty second timeout brought to you by Handy Fix on first aid, ng bahay mo, bonds all, and seals all. Antiveros. And now San Miguel needs to score in a hurry, as in right now. They have 18 seconds to work with, but Kabagdot fires, and that will be Talking Fix ball, and that might just do it. San Miguel, one of the better uh, three-point shooting teams in the league, uh, and, and they, they throw up a lot of three-point shots. But today, the, that three-point shot has just not gone in for them. Uh, uh, I remember every time you go out of town, there's just some gyms because of a certain depth perception with, with, with the ring and, and with the fans behind it. Ang hirap tansahin talaga yung uh, three points na yan. In my case, I never found that gym that. Uh, I do, like, I, that what had the perfect depth perception. Look, that depth perception <laughs> thing has always been my excuse. <laughs> First of all, my hit up say pronounce. <laughs> <laughs> and even when I want to use it as, as an excuse, I can't pronounce it correctly. <laughs> well, lessons here. Uh, things that, that San Miguel might want to do differently in game number two. Uh, you know, for San Miguel, it, it, it almost just seemed like uh, there, there was just that period in which they put their guard down. I, there was a lot of walking on their part, uh, walking on offense, walking, bringing down the basketball. When you have a team uh, like Talk and Text that is, uh, that is always active, when you have those letdowns, they will take advantage of that. They will get good runs and they will build the lead. And when they have a lead, a team like Talk and Text, Ito yung parang kabayo na ma mahilig na nasa unahan ang hirap habuli. 29.9 seconds remaining, 91.82. Talk in text, labang pa rin. Only 21.9 seconds rather. Uh, yan ang natitirang oras dito sa uh, ating game number one sa Victoria City. Just, just a strong, a strong second half performance by Talking Text. And Jason Castro is our best player of the game because as always, he, as often as he does, personifying the Talking Text speed. You know, and he's always been that X factor para sa Talking Text. When Jimmy doesn't have a good game or, or, or a, one of those huge games for them, Jason Castro comes in and just causes havoc on the defense of the opposing team. That's what, again, he did today against San Miguel. Of course, Alex Kabagnot uh, not having a chance to showcase his in-game brilliance, at least uh, at least not tonight. Jay Washington, malaking bagay, no? That, uh, that he had to leave the game sometime in the third quarter to address cramps. Bumalik siya, scored one three-pointer, and then missed the next two. And then that was it. And he was clearly hobbling all over the court. A referee is going to look at this possession. Uh, last couple of uh, last two minutes in which uh, there is a possession that they feel that they need to look at. They look at it uh, just to make sure that they get the right call. 
para naman sa uh, talking text uh, you're right I mean this is a team that really likes playing with a big lead and such is the case for running teams and you know going back to that uh, Jay Washington thing if, if San Miguel has to play either Mick Pinisi or uh, force Mick Pinisi and uh, Dorian Pena to play extended minutes para kay Jay Washington ang laking advantage all of us are yan para sa talking text Ang final score po natin, 91-82. Talk and text. Leads the series one game to none. And this game was very physical in the first half, but all of a sudden it became a track meet in the third and fourth quarter. And in that track meet, you know the team that really enjoys that. It is Talk and text. They had a ton of fast break opportunities. They had a ton in the first half. They didn't score as much, but here in the second half, nakita natin naging mas fluid na yung pagtatakbo ng bola ng talk and text so again you see our final score 91-82 biglang umalagwa ang uh, talk and text after you know after a very close game for the most part up until the fourth period now, you know in, in that fourth uh, I think that's when uh, you really feel you know when Jay Washington was away you know San Miguel is a team that, that plays we talked about it a lot of minutes para kay Jay Washington para kay uh, Santos Kabagnot Ontiveros when you take out one of those guys, which is integral to your rotation, nawawala yung uh, rotation or, or yung, uh, yung feel of the rest of the players in terms of ball movement and everything else that they do on the court. Okay, let's uh, now meet our best player of uh, this uh, ball game. Okay, well, kanina, napakita na natin, it was Jason Castro. And uh, now we're about to talk to our friends uh, back in uh, Manila, dyan sa ating uh, uh, Solar Broadcast Center in Antipolo with uh, Patricia Bravira season and Coach Bo Perasol. Uh, you guys would like to know what you thought of this game. Coach Bo, paano ba ano? Paano ba nanalo ang Talking Text dito? How did they break away in the fourth quarter? Babango, no? Siyempre, in-expect ng lahat na babawi at babango ng San Miguel. How exactly can they do that? What's one way for San Miguel to bounce back with a strong performance in Game 2, Coach? Uh, Jay wants us to play the game that he is expected to play. Uh, number two, Arwin Santos or Don Don Honteveros have to make their shots outside. They have been uh, attempting so many three-point shots, but they've been missing really badly. I think that Alex Cabagnot has also has to score more so that they will have some uh, other sources of offense as well. All right, well, Coach Bo and I have uh, had the pleasure of listening to you guys over here from the Solar Broadcast Center in Antipolo. And, of course, uh, we'd like to thank all of the people in Victoria City. Next game, Game 2 on Wednesday, which will be at the Cuneta Astronome, we will be joined by another head coach, and it'll be the turn of Coach Yang Giao. So I'm sure for all the fans, you guys will be looking out and watching out for that. Let's send it over to Victoria's to Miko and Jason. Marami salamat, uh, Patricia Bermuda Season and our guest analyst coach, Bo Perasol. So tapos na tayo sa Game 1, Jason, dito sa Victorias and uh, we'll all fly back to Manila uh, by tomorrow morning and tomorrow afternoon kung saan magpapatuloy ang uh, ating series. And with this victory by Talking Text, your thoughts about where San Miguel, or what San Miguel must do and what Talking Text uh, must sustain. Hey, I think uh, Coach Bo hit it right, right there, uh, right on the nail there. Um, San Miguel cannot afford to have all that, those uh, couple of minutes in which they cannot, they do not match the energy of Talk and Text because you know that Talk and Text will continue to come with that kind of energy. These two teams, we've talked about it, they are evenly matched, but when you have two teams that are evenly matched, it's going to be about who wants.